Welcome to City Pulse. I'm Pamela Payne and I'm here with the Mayor Ron Arnold. Hi Pam. And Tammy Davis from the Heinz Career Center. Pam. And Joe Anderson from Ivy Tech. Hello. Thank you guys for talking with us today. Um, we're talking about the importance of a merge between Heinz Career Center and Ivy Tech. Tammy, can you, for those who are not aware about the Heinz Career Center, can you give us a little information on that? Yeah, Heinz Career Center has been in Elwood since 1967, number 69, and um, as we grow with the 21st century needs of our community and our county and the state, um, we feel that we can play a role and be a hub for the city of Elwood residents and Northern Madison County and for education for our adults, not just our high school juniors and seniors. So with that, we have developed a partnership with Ivy Tech and bringing Ivy Tech classes to Heinz Career Center in Northern Madison County area, so it makes it a little easier for you know people to get started and see that they can do it and kind of decide what maybe do I really want to do and then move on um, in the direction to complete some kind of certification training and associate's degree or on. I John, think, can you? Yeah, I think the key, as she said, is to bring services here to extend <clears throat> outside of uh, our main campuses. So, you know, uh, we're really trying to outreach into communities like Elwood, but also, you know, Northern Madison County to provide those services to make it easier for those residents who live out in rural areas. Now, I understand that you guys have, um, as far as Ivy Tech is concerned, you guys have very, a lot of campuses locally or Yes, ma'am. Within our region, uh, we have campuses. Our main campus is Muncie, Anderson, Marion, and we uh, have, we are expanding into Newcastle, but we have satellites, which will be here, as well as Jay Randolph County. Okay. And there's an enrollment proceeding going on on May 2nd? Yes. Uh, what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be doing our one-stop shop. It's called an enrollment workshop where we will be bringing all our services or support um, to get residents uh, enrolled into classes, whether that's the summer or the fall. So we will have someone here uh, in regards to do AccuPlace or testing, which they will get that, at least get started on that. We will do the uh, uh, new student orientation as well as having a financial aid advisor and an academic advisor on staff that evening to help uh, the residents with their needs. And what type of classes are going to be available? The classes that they're looking to offer um, will be IBYT, which is an introductory class for new, newly enrolled students, as well as some English and some math courses. We're going to also have some micro uh, introduction to microcomputers, <laughs> as well as an introduction to business. And they're going to be able to take these classes here in Elwood? Yes, ma'am. They'll be able to take these classes here, and the intent is to get started, get their feet in the door here, um, and then at some point in time, they will be allowed or be asked to go to one of the uh, other campuses to complete, to complete everything. And I think one of the advantages too, we've got um, the night classes that are offered, which helps you know by coming of an evening class. It helps not being every day. People can still work their jobs, come in the evening right here at Heinz and um, take the courses to get started and um, that makes that transition more easily to flow into continuing and determining what they want to do. Mayor, can you kind of uh, elaborate a little bit about the first class Heinz Career Center and the impact with the partnership of Ivy Tech? Uh, this is tremendous. Um, when I first uh, came into office, went and talked to Tammy and to Jim Pearson at the Career Center and we talked about the need for partnering together and um, we're all in this boat together and we've talked about this on City Pulse many times how we all need to come together in many different facets of the community and really the Heinz Career Center is the hub of this and one of the things that I discovered running for this office was we have a lot of folks in Elwood who just need um, some brushing off, some brushing up, um, uh, a little help moving forward. They are, we have a tremendous workforce in this community, always have had. 
uh, very hard working community. Uh, it's been very tough times the last two decades. And so we've had folks that have been displaced from jobs, probably two or three jobs at this point in their career, depending on their age. So um, our community, there's a lot of folks here that aren't as mobile as folks in Anderson or Marion or Indianapolis. And so one of the things Tammy and Jim and I talked about early on was, how do we offer services here that folks can get to and get started? And as Joe mentioned, once you get started, once you understand there's all kinds of opportunities, I can do this, um, then the door is open and pretty soon you're, you're on your way to an associate's degree, you have some job prospects, uh, your horizons are expanding and you're looking at Anderson and Indianapolis and all of a sudden your world begins to change, but it all begins with first steps. So one of the things that we first talked about was work keys and just helping folks be ready for an assessment test, a, 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 a placement test, if you will. So if, you're, if you want to uh, go to work at Red Gold or Elsa Corp or... Um, or Trail or just wherever. Yes, wherever. The um, are. There, are, there are tests now uh, to go to work at these, uh, these uh, facilities. And uh, my contention was, I'm 49 years old, so it's been 30 years since I was in school, and if someone says, take a ninth grade proficiency test, I don't know, Pam. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I always say, I know I'm not the smartest guy, but I don't know if I want to find out how stupid I am. <laughs> or let me say, how much I've forgotten. Yeah. I got a great education in the Elwood school system, but it's been 30 years. And um, I'm blessed with a lot of smart department people that work with me, so they do a lot of the heavy lifting. But anyway, I'm not sure how I would do on those tests, and so we talked about those kinds of things. The Heinz Career Center has been a willing partner from the very beginning in any way that we can work together. They become the hub. Um, our, our latest jobs announcement with Warner Bodies, they're the center hub with the welding program, and, and there's gonna be other programs because um, these folks are hiring engineers and, and office administrative folks and all kinds of things that Ivy Tech and Heinz Career Center can all be a partner in. And if you've always thought, I'd like to be in human resources or you know, whatever it may be, we've got it here. It's right here in Elwood and, and that's exciting. And I appreciate Ivy Tech very much continuing to up the ante, if you will, and bring more to this community. Um, because as I, when I spoke to Tom Snyder, the head of Ivy Tech, early on, I said, Tom, just please understand El was a little different community than Anderson or Marion or Muncie, and that we're just not as mobile. Um, and so help us get started. And so they've made a commitment, and, and I, I've seen it grow and grow and grow, and so this is exciting. And I thank you for it. Tammy, thank you for yes. continuing to do more than you promised. And we've got work keys running, and, and, and I, they invited me to be part of some mock interviews last week. And that blessed my socks off. That was, if you want to see some dynamic young people, go out there and take part in, that, in those mock interviews. Uh, they were mock interviews, but, but one young man got a job offer from one of the, yeah. <laughs> from one of the people that <laughs> went. the resume. Yeah, he's so like, I think I'm going to hold on to you. But, and had I needed anyone, I mean, I was so inspired by some of the stories, and some of them tough. I talked to one young lady had been moved five times in her high school career. That's five times in less than four years. And she was on track, thanks to the Career Center, she was on track to graduate from high school on time. She has plans for college, she, she's she got goals, she's got dreams, and she, you know, it was just, it was inspiring. So I appreciate being a part of that, that was so neat. The kids enjoyed it very much as well, and it just Good. opens their world too. And in doing that, I just wanted to add and talk about the work keys. I mean, we do that with our students, which is kind of how we got talking about when and work keys in the community. Um, through the Work One Anderson office, we've also our yes. satellite for Work One um, on Fridays here at nine to three, where they can come, where residents can come in and they can actually practice on the when to prepare for the work keys and take the work keys. Um, as adults, but to kind of help identify too, you yes. know, where their needs are, which Ivy Tech and this this partnership of growing um, what we can offer our residents 
this is a lasting relationship. It's not just going to happen this fall and be done. Yeah, um, very good point. We, I wanted to point that out because yeah, you, you, we get excited about things and sometimes we get going on one project and we go to the next. But this is something that is going to continue. And, and as our community grows and you, and you all share with your friends and relatives who are in this area outside of the city to come to Heinz and, and support these classes that Ivy Tech is coming here to have us be an outreach program. Um, we would appreciate that. Spread the word. Call yes, yes. us at, at, at Heinz if you want to, that first step. Um, glad to answer questions. But May 2nd, just come if you have questions. Whether you think you want to enroll or not, just come and, come and see. I'm going to come and, and, and do this. And, and, and I've been thinking about taking a class or two. And so my oldest son, um, my wife and I call him a late bloomer, Joe. Uh, he didn't know what he wanted to do. <laughs> um, I still don't know what I want to do when I grow up. But um, he got to be about 22. He didn't want to go anywhere. Dad wanted him to go. He didn't want to do it. And I kept saying, let's get started. Just start. Just start. First steps. First steps. Go to Ivy Tech. Just get started. Talk to somebody. Finally, he stopped arguing with me, and he went to Anderson campus and just got started. And he's on his way now to finishing his degree at Ball State, all because he got all the fundamentals, all the, all the core classes done at Ivy Tech. Uh, the cost savings as a parent was phenomenal, and he's working his way through school. So um, we're a poster family for Ivy Tech. Great, great programs. Uh, and they got him started. They answered his questions, got him going, and he's now, uh, you know, a salesman for Ivy Tech. And when he talks to when he talks to his peers that are saying, I don't know, I can't afford to go to school, I don't know what to do, there's nothing out there for me, you know, the woe is me, sort of, you know, and it's easy to to get that way. He'll say, Hey, just go sit down with them; they'll get you going. Just try it. <laughs> and the key mayor is taking that first step. Um, I'm a past Ivy Tech graduate myself, so it has taken me down a path that I thought I would never um, be able to do, honestly, because I was one of those that started school, came back home, decided, well, what am I going to do with myself? And then said, well, let me go to Ivy Tech. It opened up a lot of doors. It's, I like to compare it to gardening. It's planting a seed. Mm -hmm. Once you plant that seed, you want to see what happens with that student from that first day they come in to the end of the semester to a full year, a year and a half, and two years. So mm -hmm. I like to watch the students sprout. And it doesn't matter how old they are, because you'll have a lot of people say, well, I'm too old. You're, you're never too old. You are never too old. So it'll be interesting and I'm excited about next week to see anyone who wants to come in, who just wants to find out about what we have to offer, offer what opportunities are there. Um, please come out. I'm looking forward to it. I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank Ms. Davis for your support in regards to what you're doing to help us to get the message out. Thank you, Joe. And please, you're watching this on ElwoodIndiana.org. Um, please come out on May the 2nd from 4 to 8 p.m. at the Career Center, and you're not going to be any more scared than the next man or woman walking in the door. So just just walk in. Uh, look at Tammy's smile. That's what you're going to get when you walk in. They're, they're great folks there. They're going to make you feel very welcome. Uh, you're not going to be intimidated and Sharing opportunities. Yes, yes. And there are opportunities. Oh, there are opportunities. And the phone number to the Career Center is 552-9881. So if you have any questions, please call. I thank you very much for speaking with us today. I really appreciate it. This was great. We appreciate the time and to get the word out. And I look forward to seeing as many people getting it out. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Joe, thank, thank you. Family, thank thanks again. Thanks. Good to see you. It's good to see you. Now we're at the point in our show where we ask the mayor questions. Mayor, thank you for sitting and staying with me. Absolutely. I enjoy this part. <laughs> um, there was a few questions on online that we need to ask. Great. Number one, um, is there any money to be made if the people increase the recycling habits? And wouldn't it save the street department on trash pickup? Can we save money and make money at the same time? And if so, do you have any plans on expanding the recycling efforts in Elwood? Um, the short answer is yes. Um, there, ha there are many items on our to-do list. Um, this is on there, 
Um, we just have not gotten to it yet. Uh, Jim Robertson, our street commissioner, as of the first of the year, um, is very focused on this issue. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, we do save money. If we get people to recycle more, it reduces the amount of garbage or refuse that we take to the dump. Mm -hmm. And we pay to dump our trash like anyone else would. Um, so when we take those garbage trucks over, we, we pay by the ton to dump that garbage. So yes, it, it would save um, our city money uh, if we lessen that load. Um, to make money in recycling, um, we've done a little bit of research. We're not complete on it, but it's very difficult to make money uh, because of the cost of collecting, uh, sorting, bundling, um, and then delivering the materials. We already do a lot of glass recycling and cardboard paper recycling. Um, we hope to increase that. We're gonna have a couple of days this summer to increase awareness of our recycling center. We're gonna have some special Saturdays that we've been talking about uh, privately in interdepartment conversations on uh, bringing more awareness to our center, what we can take, how it works. Uh, doing some uh, expansion of hours, that kind of thing. So, excellent question. Uh, uh, the viewer is absolutely right. Uh, it's, it's what I call walk and chew gum. We need to be able to do that. We need to be able to lessen our load on landfills and garbage, um, increase the usage of that. Uh, at this point, I think if you would talk with anyone who has a recycling center across the country, it's difficult to make money, but at least if you start to pay for expenses that currently are not covered or reduce the amount of expenses that you have that's making money if you're saving it you're making it right. so so stay tuned for that now for the people that don't know do, does Elwood have anywhere that they can take their recyclable material yes um, if you get uh, a water sewer bill uh, then you get a newsletter called the heartbeat and in that, uh, they, you have the phone number to the recycling center, to the street department. And we have at our street department where you can take electronic items now, so your old computer, your TV, uh, your old VCR, those kinds of things that are difficult. You can't throw in your trash can. Uh, no one wants to take them. We, we can take those at no cost to residents. Where's that at? And that's um, at the street department on South J Street. Um, if they head... Uh, west on South J Street, they're going to dead end at the street department. Okay. So it's it's west of Anderson Street on South J. Okay. Now I have another question from a different viewer. Why with a new water company facility where we pay our water and sewage bills, can we not pay our bill online or with credit card? And is there any plans on updating to more current payment methods? Again, I'll give you the short answer. Um, I usually give very long answers. So, um, yes, there are plans to do that. Uh, we are blessed with a wonderful municipal building uh, of which the utility department has, has space in where you come and pay your water bill. Um, listen, this is near and dear to my heart. I pay everything online or call it in with my credit card number. I don't write checks and I don't like to go to to the, you know, an office and have to pay it. Um, and so uh, th this, is a, this is a growing trend with everyone. Uh, and especially those that aren't, aren't able to get out of their homes or they're not as mobile. Um, what we want to ensure though is when you accept credit cards, then there's a cost to that. And, and so there's a percentage of, of what you collect that then you pay the credit card company in the bank in order to handle those processing fees. So, so there are some things to work out since it is a utility and not a business, not a private business. Um, we have to make sure that we're complying with um, state laws, um, state board of accounts, accounting practices, those kinds of things. So um, it's being done. So we know it can happen and that it, it, it can be done. Um, but stay tuned for that because uh, that is something that we want to accomplish so that you can uh, either call your credit card in, go online, uh, and, and I would think folks, if they're online, and, and they wouldn't be watching us if they're not, 
um, that they would have to agree that our website, our Facebook presence, all of our online presence has increased greatly over the last year, uh, especially with the help of ElwoodIndiana.org. So we'll continue to enhance uh, that presence and that ability. Like now you can go online, you can get a copy of any city ordinance, uh, any forms that you need, minutes to public meetings, all those are online, accessible right now. You can go on the website and find those. Um, that was a promise that I had made coming into this office. We've honored that uh, commitment and that will continue on into things like uh, online bill pay. Thank you very much for answering our questions for us. Thank you, Pam. And thanks again to ElwoodIndiana.org.